Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated, and in the previous video, I have shown you how to post images and videos from your Airtable social media calendar to Instagram. In this video, I will show you how to reuse those videos and images and post them also to your Facebook page. Let's get going. So for our social media automation, we were using a social media calendar inside of Airtable with columns for different statuses and different functionalities. And we were using Make Integromat previously to post those videos depending on the videos or images, depending on the type to our Instagram page, Dapper Dog Outfitters. So now let's try to repost the last video which is instagram reel let's try to repost it onto our facebook page the first step that we will do we will do a copy over here let's delete the date and status now this will not be a channel instagram reel this will be a channel called facebook if you would like to see how the previous automations were set up, there is a description and link to those automations in the description of this video. In this case, we'll reuse the same format of video that we have been using on Instagram Reels for Facebook as well. So we will try to post this Instagram Reel and we will also make one photo post. Let's duplicate this one as well. All right, since we have a new channel type inside of Airtable, we will have to use this channel type also here when we are filtering out into which route the, the information should go. So let's start by adding a Facebook module. It's gonna be Facebook pages. And let's start with videos. We're gonna connect it to the router. And once you open Facebook pages, upload the video, you realize uh, two things. First of all, you need to connect it to your Facebook uh, account if you haven't done so. And the second thing, to upload a video, you have two options. You can either map it with the file that you're downloading uh, from some sort of source using HTTP module inside of, uh, of make.com, or you can download the video from URL, which in our case will be easier, simpler. We can avoid using one of them one of the modules. We need to select the page. For the URL, this will be coming from the content and here the URL. And description similar as previously, we will use the copy, shift enter and hashtags. Now let's replicate the setup here. Mima type means type of document type of attachment that you have inside of Airtable. In this case, we want to pass only videos. And also we need to make sure that the channel that was selected contains Facebook. And similarly, as in the previous executions, we want to give feedback to Airtable that this video has been posted. What we will do now, we will create additional field for Facebook ID once it has been posted. Here everything is the same. We just want to, instead of post ID for IG, we want to use the video ID that we get from the previous module. Okay. And once we mark the video as ready to be published and the date will be before today. So let's select yesterday. It would be normally a date in the future, but in this case, just so that we can post it immediately. And let's run the Integromat scenario. Integromat make.com scenario. You can see the video has been uploaded successfully. Here it has been changed also to live. And let's revisit our page. And we can see that the video has been successfully posted in the Reels format. Okay, let's try to do the same format together with pictures. Let's click on Facebook pages and let's click upload a photo. We can select specific album, but we don't have to. In this case, it asks us to map the location of the file or give the file name and data, which means it doesn't upload this from a link. We will have to download this file inside of Integromat. So let's click OK here. 
and let's use a HTTP module and scroll down, which is called get a file. So now we will go to this part and we will download the file first using just the URL from, from make. Inside of content, select the URL, okay? And now when we go back to upload the photo, it will be automatically linked to the previous module. And the only thing we'll need to do now is add message, okay? And let's add a filter before the HTTP module. The HTTP module in Make in the free plan has a limit of maximum four megabytes of the file size that you can download. On the paid plan, it's up to 100, but in this case, you cannot have pictures on the free plan bigger than four megabytes. So let's just make sure that only Facebook related uh, posts and only images go from here. So let's copy some of the information here does not equal to and from array operators contains Facebook all right let's use auto align and let's mark this photo as ready to be published you can see the video have been published I have forgotten to add the completing module from from Airtable to make sure it changes to live let me do it now but the photo was posted uh, regardless of that. We just don't get confirmation in our table. So let's refresh to see that picture here. And the photo has been successfully posted here. So for now, we'll just manually change it to live. So it's not being used again. All right. So this was how also publish your social media calendar to Facebook with images and videos. And by the way, in the future, once this is ready, you can actually post at the same time so you can have both Facebook and Instagram within the same channel. All right. I hope this was useful for you. And if so, please like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.